How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get Gosaku's armor in Ghost of Tsushima. First of all, we will need to have made it to the second region of the game, which is called Toyotama. And very close to the beginning of the second region, we're going to find a village called Akashima Village. And here we'll find an NPC with a blue marker above his head, which indicates it's a mythic tale. This specific mythic tale is going to be called Unbreakable Gosaku. And this is where we're going to initiate the quest to obtain his legendary armor. So first of all, sit down next to the campfire near the NPC and let him explain us the tale of Gosaku. After this, he'll send us out on a quest to find six specific keys. Now chances are, if you've been freeing up the Mongol territories, you should have at least a couple of these keys already. But in case you don't, the way to obtain these keys is for freeing specific ones of these enemy territories occupied by the Mongols. Starting off from the southmost key we can obtain is going to be for liberating the Aoi village. Then just a little bit further north from here, we're going to find Ohama fishing village, which is going to give us the second of the keys. Then over to the east, we're going to get the third key for freeing Kuta farm. Then in the northwestern part of the first region, we're going to get the fourth key for freeing Yagata farm. And now as for the two remaining keys are going to be found in the second region of the game. The first of which is going to be obtained for freeing Ijima farm, which is just here on the map. And then just a little bit further north here at Kushi, we're going to get the sixth and final key for freeing Yoshimitsu farm. Once we've freed up all of these regions and obtained all six of the keys, the quest will show us a marker here on the map at the old Togo rice fields. Here we'll see a couple of enemies which we'll need to slay and once we've taken care of those, head towards the door shown on the marker. Now that we have all six keys, it should allow us to open up this door. Then after doing a little bit of parkour until we get to the top of this cliffside where we can find a chest, which of course inside obtains Gosaku's armor, which consists of the armor piece itself and then the Gosaku headband. Apart from looking pretty cool, it gives us a moderate increase to health and a moderate increase to stagger damage as well as a passive ability that reads as follows. Killing a staggered enemy restores 10% of health. And of course we can upgrade the armor three extra times boosting these abilities. So anyway I hope you did find this video helpful guys. If you did don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon and we'll see you next time.